Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aquarius, what do we have for you at this time? What do we have for Aquarius? Show us Aquarius. So Aquarius, we have a strong energy of an ex here, okay, or someone with whom you might have history with, you know, this person, and I feel that there was something happened here between the two of you. Uh, it might be a case that you are not on a speaking terms at the moment, uh, that was falling out, and, um, and essentially uh, you are not in touch. We have commitment and reconciliation. It feels very strongly that this person wants to rebuild, repair this connection. I feel this is someone who wants to have face-to-face -face kind of, you know, a meeting or some sort of kind of communication with you, conversation. I feel this individual really wants to kind of, you know, um, gain this mutual agreement that with you, of course, Aquarius, that it's that they want to kind of th that it's like they want to leave the past in the past and you know try again something like this i'm getting very strongly next to it we have a commitment it might be a case that you are in a committed relationship with them aquarius or in a long-term relationship or you know that was a very kind of strong situation ship that it felt like re that it felt like relationship but this is someone here who really wants to kind of um reconnect and have commitment with you we have steps it's, it feels like this whole situation aquarius uh, is getting momentum and you will see progress there will be movement forward in the form of communication so for some of you indeed if you are in no contact situation i'm getting very strongly that you can you you this person will reach out you will receive a message news this person will express their feelings this is an overall energy communication the reason why i feel it is it is an ex because or some someone you know that you have a history again with please take it how it resonates or there was a situation ship between the two of you um someone with whom you might share uh, history with that's what i wanted to say um because we have reconciliation and discard clean up, letting go of what no longer is serving. For some of you, you might have, you know, at the time detached or distanced yourself from this person. You might have blocked this person and kind of realized that, well, the situation at the moment is not making me happy. Therefore, I want to leave it and go towards something that uh, has a potential to actually bring me fulfillment and happiness right or it can be a case uh, for some of you that this person um, this person um, detached or they dis distance themselves uh, from this connection but we'll see we'll see well it's a strong indication here you see the cards uh, that this person wants to reconnect and it's like they want to be in a committed relationship with you Let's see, Aquarius, what do we have? So we have the Temperance. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. Let's see, Aqua, what do we have? We have the Sun. We have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. We have Leo energy. Have an ace of swords so we have this communication here temperance the sun two of pentacles ace of swords interesting this is someone who is stressing out five of cups they have regrets Uh, 
Tell me more for Aquarius. Ten of Ten of Cups. Yeah, they do want this commitment. Ten of Cups. It's a card of happily ever after, being in a committed relationship, sharing joy, happiness, and emotion fulfillment with another person. We have strength. Ooh, they want this very, very much, Aquarius. We have strong Leo in so far in this reading for you. Strong Leo, Aquarius. Your opposite sign. And Sagittarius as well. It's here. One more. And we have the Two of Cups. No surprise. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Moon, Pisces energy okay so you have someone here who wants to bring more stability um this is someone who wants to clear the air with the ace of swords they want to have this communication conversation they have something here to tell you i feel this is someone who really wants to express their feelings looking at the cards the fact that we have this two of cups with the ace of swords it's like confession of love we have the ace of swords to the strength to the sun and to five of cups this is someone here who wants to express in in, in some sort of kind of shape shape or form um, form of regret that they are feeling this is someone who is regretful who feels that uh, they made a mistake that they messed things up that things are not the same without you you that you are bringing so much happiness enjoy the thought of yours it's making this person really happy the sun is the most positive and optimistic card strength they share very very strong soul connection with you or this kind of bone bond that they developed during this 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 period of time when both of you were connected but the ten of cups suggests very strongly with next to the strength and the two of cups that this is someone who really wants to be with you aquarius they want to be in a, in a, in a long-term, uh, higher level of commitment, I would say here, very, very much. This person has love for you. With the temperance, the temperance also, it's a healing card. I feel this is someone who wants to heal the situation, but it's like they want to bring more harmony and tranquility. And with the Ace of Swords, I'm getting that they really, they know that in order to bring kind of more clarity to the situation because something it's lacking clarity and we have very much uh, this reflected by the moon card is to have an honest conversation and when we have the sun and the two of pentacles aquarius um yeah that's um i feel that there was a time in this connection aquarius that maybe this person kind of was juggling you with another situation for some of you it didn't have to be another person but it might have been for instance they were prioritizing certain things you know over this connection however the sun here it's it, it's showing that you make this person very happy and this five of cups with the sun suggests that this person is missing your energy and they really feel regret that things didn't work out between the two of you the moon overall energy uh, indicates that this person is very emotional but at the same time there is a doubt there is this uncertainty they don't know how you how you know they don't know what to expect how you're going to react if they reach out it's just this kind of you know i feel this person has so many scenarios in they in their head and um and they're assuming a lot but what they really need to do is just to reach out and apologize i believe that five five of cups suggests that this person has regrets so that there has to be a reason why they have regrets right and i feel that they really did you wrong but as far as i'm concerned in here is uh, it feels like they really want this they really want to get back to your energy show me this person's feelings please for aquarius We have the full. So you might be dealing with another Aquarius. I have Aries. Nine of Wands. We have a Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're unsure. High Precious. 
we have a knight of wands and we have the magician mm -hmm. okay so we have pisces energy as well aquarius virgo and gemini so the at the bottom of the deck we have a knight of swords so we have a mm, we have a runner represented by the knight of wands and we have a chaser represented by the knight of swords i feel that at the time in the past this is someone who created the chaser runner dynamic they are thinking a lot about it at the moment they 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 know what happened here and what sort of dynamic they brought to this connection mm -hmm. so the fool with the nine of wands suggests that this person really wants to be given another chance this is someone who wants to take a leap of faith with the fool and try again however with the nine of wands this person is unsure again uh, when it comes to your reaction this is someone who feels that you know you might be setting very very strong and healthy boundaries and you have your reservations you know you have your guard up you have a perfect reason uh, i believe uh, to kind of be cautious regarding this individual especially that we have a five of cups this person brought sadness to the situation and at some point they made you feel unhappy we have a queen of swords mm -hmm, to the high priestess um you're dealing here with someone who uh, might know you quite well but also i feel this person is perfectly aware that you might give them a cold shoulder this is someone who is taking that into account you know with this queen of swords because queen of swords it's a very kind of straightforward sometimes blunt very kind of a no bs policy energy queen of swords it's very um uh, open for communication but it has to be held with integrity honesty and clarity and then we have this high priestess here i feel that this person is assuming here that when they will reach out you might kind of be quite cold in a sense not giving them much back in your response because we have the high priestess and high priestess it's like holding back keeping your cards very close to your chest next to the queen of swords it's a very kind of yes okay if you have something to say just just say it to tell me i am open for for you know to listen to you but uh, don't expect much from me that i will be engaged in that conversation just for the sake of entertainment you know what i mean to entertain you that kind of energy i'm getting and this is someone here who who, who is thinking about it who who is feeling that it might be a case and um and at the end of the day they feel that they need to face the music i feel that something here needs to be addressed about them about them being a runner um and with the magician this is someone who i feel who um is very skillful with their words they know how to charm you um it's like maybe this person at the time knew how to pull the heartstrings, you know, something like this. Because magician with the with the Knight of Wands is not an ideal kind of co um, combination of cards when it comes to a love life and feelings, because this 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 indicates that kind of a little bit of a player energy, and maybe this person act was acting that way at the time. And then we have this Knight of Swords, which is a chase. I feel this person. At the very beginning Aquarius was chasing you and they became a runner because this is someone who loves being chased because this is someone also who has insecurities however they coming here with this knight of swords energy therefore you can expect that this person will chase you this is someone who feels that something really needs to be addressed on the emotional level they feel it in their heart um, and um, they want to talk they want to talk about this conversation oh, gosh about the situation excuse me they really want to have this conversation um magician suggests here that this is someone who is thinking a lot about you and i feel they will kind of try to use every single opportunity and possibility to kind of convince you to give them this this, this another chance because magician is very creative and he possesses everything to make something work but um you know it depends of course on magician's skills right but this is someone who thinks a lot about your reaction 
and I feel they are very emotional about it. Let's see the actions. Show me this person's actions towards Aquarius. Well, this is someone who is thinking a lot about this. I feel this is also an individual who feels that you're doing very well without them. And it's not that it's bothering them, but it's like they are very curious what's going on in your life. If there is no contact situation and those cards suggest that indeed it might be. This person's actions towards Aquarius. Let's see, Aquarius. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. King of Swords. We have a Queen of Swords. Interesting. Five of Wands. The Empress. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So Aquarius, you might be dealing with the Taurus, a Gemini, Virgo. So we have a Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords. This is someone who hasn't moved on from you. Because Seven of Pentacles represents investment and the actions here suggest that this person is invested and it's like they want to let you know that they are ready to invest properly in this connection. I feel that word properly, it's, it's quite significant here. We have a king of swords with the queen of swords i feel that this person feels that you are their divine counterpart that you are very 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 important for them even if they tried to move on for some of you it might be a case they they they, they didn't they, it, it, they wasn't able they weren't able excuse me to move on but queen uh, sorry king of swords here suggests that this person really wants to talk because king of swords really wants to talk they, and th th there is something here about bringing peace to the situation because we have a five of wands for some of you it might be a case that you ended this connection in not particularly good terms meaning there was a uh, tension there was a conflict or argument and you just kind of said okay it's done i don't want to entertain this you can do whatever you want it can be a case. It's just, you know, an example. Of course, it might not resonate with all of you. But Five of Wands suggests that there is a tension and this person really wants to kind of bring more harmony and kind of wants to resolve this tension, that situation that might have occurred during this connection with the Five of Wands. We have the Empress and a Queen of Pentacles. So this is the Empress energy. This is pre-Empress energy. At the end of the day, this person really kind of see expansion, growth. And, you know, Empress is all about progress. Movement forward, right? Empress is progress, but it's also abundance, prosperity. This is divine feminine energy. So this is really high vibrational energy. And you might be divine feminine or you're dealing with divine feminine. But this is someone here with next to the Queen of Pentacles. They really put you on a pedestal. This is someone who sees that you bring a lot to the table, that you, you know, that you have so much to offer. And I feel based on this reading so far, this person really misjudged the situation. And now they are regretful. They might be not showing that you know to the outside world but deeply inside on emotional level i feel this person really really kind of uh is is disappointed with themselves how they really kind of ha handle this situation the empress with the queen of pentacles indicates that really this person wants uh wants to take this connection to the next level they see future with you but this is all about clarifying some sort of kind of tension that might have occurred between the two of you, having this conversation, um, resolving issue or kind of problematic situation that might have occurred uh, between the two of you. And overall energy, we have an Ace of Cups. 
offer of love. <laughs> this is someone who wants to make an offer of love, Aquarius. They do want to re this reconciliation. This is someone who wants you to accept they love, that they're going to um, present it to you, I don't know, offer to you really, I should have said. But they, yes, they do want another chance, new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. Okay, so show me the outcome for Aquarius and this connection with this person, please. We have an Eight of Pentacles, okay. Your energy, Aquarius. Four of Cups and the Star. Interesting. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with another Aquarius. So what I, for some of you, it might be someone from your workplace, doesn't have to be with this Ace of, Ace of Pen, sorry, Eight of Pentacles. However, Aquarius, what I am getting, that this is someone here who will come and indeed who wanted to rebuild, repair, because this is like card of work, but in a love related kind of reading, it suggests that someone here wants to work on the situation, on the connection. We have a Four of Cups and we have your energy in your outcome. This is very interesting because what I am seeing here is that um, I feel that this is someone who will really have to prove to you that they are really willing to do an extra work in order for you to even consider them taking back, taking them back to your life and giving them another chance. Why? Because Four of Cups is a card of rejection and this is your card next to it. And I feel that this person... Um, Maybe they got under your skin. I feel that they messed things up and I that maybe they did you wrong, you know, and I feel that it's like, hmm, I'm not quite sure about that. I'm not quite sure if I want to work on this situation. But at the end of the day, I feel very strongly, Aquarius, that deeply inside you might be full of hope that actually this connection can work out at this time. But I feel that you don't want to show this person um, that, um, yes, 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 of course, everything is fine, you know, I'm, I'm welcoming you back with an open arms. This is someone who needs to earn, who needs to earn your uh, trust, who needs to prove that they are loyal and that they really kind of are taking serious this opportunity. And that Four of Cups here suggests that I feel that um, when this person will come with an offer of love, because they will, I feel that you will be kind of, because on a, on a traditional take, when we have a four of cups, right? We have a person under the tree and they have this kind of, uh, like this arms, the, the body language, it's kind of dismissive. It's like, I don't want to deal with it. And then we have this ace of cups presented here, but this person is also looking at the three of cups. So what I am getting here for some of you Aquarius, you might give this person kind of a, um, it's like, I feel that you might tell them, listen, we can be friends, three of cups, right? In an upright position, we can be friends. Um, but for me, in order to accept this extra cup of love, uh, you will have to do an extra work. Or you might say, I need more time. I really need to be sure that you really want this and you are willing to do an extra work in order to prove that I can trust you. Mm-hmm. I don't feel that, you know, you, as a collective, this collective that resonates with this message, I'm getting very strongly here, Aquarius, that uh, you are not fully ruling out this connection, but this is someone who really needs to prove. Because a star, it's a very healing energy. And I feel the time here is of an essence and them putting an effort. And, you know, at the end, uh, the fact that we have your energy, Aquarius, represented by the star, suggests that you will make a decision based on what this person will kind of metaphorically saying pr um, produced <laughs> regarding this connection, you know, meaning if they put enough effort, if they go, if they prove that you can trust them, if they prove that they are loyal, if they prove that they really, really kind of have regrets, you know, everything here depends on your personal satisfactions and gosh, personal what I'm saying, personal um, circumstances and your 
expectations right regarding this 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 person and this connection the fact that we have a three of wands indicates that um, this this connection has a chance to grow um, because three of wands is this energy of expansion for some of you it might be a case that you've kind of might be you know subconsciously waiting for this person to kind of come back or to kind of make a move or reach out and it might be simple as you know getting a closure but um that it's a card of movement that something is coming to you and of course it depends on you what you're going to do with this thing but i feel that uh, you've been waiting for this situation for some time in order to manifest in a kind of proper way and that's I feel what's going to happen looking at this whole reading so Aquarius uh, for some of you I feel very strongly here that communication is coming you have someone who really wants to reconnect have this recon reconciliation you, you see the cards rebuild repair this connection be in a relationship they have love for you uh, but they are taking into account, you know, uh, so many possibilities regarding your, um, regarding your, the world, the word, sorry, <laughs> regarding your, um, I've forgotten the word, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, sorry. <laughs> Um, regarding your reaction thank you spirit regarding your reaction but it feels like the situation is gaining momentum there will be a progress and um, and yes very important conversation will take place and the end of the day Aquarius their choice and decision will be yours but I feel that they will really have to uh, prove it to you that they they are serious about this. Aquarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. I really, really do. Aquarius, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And, and I'm sending you much love. Take care. Till next time. Bye.